hello and Merry December. Happy stuff. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you may have seen the thumbnail. You may remember me teasing. Um, you may have noticed the background's changed slightly. Uh, so, yeah, I a few years ago, and I will need to go dig it out. But I will link below my playlist. Um, because, excuse me, a couple of years ago, I did an advent opening daily thing. Um, I had three. Yeah, because I had the Lego, well, Lego, the uh, Wilco Blocks advent calendar where I built the little um, figurines. Um, I still have them all. They're in a tin uh, over there somewhere. Um, I then had like, just uh, My Little Pony themed chocolate that was fun and nice and I don't think I still have that picture anymore and then I also had cereals so you got to watch me make Lego and uh, eat chocolate and cereal in fact that's when I got my tripod because I needed to be able to angle the angle the phone down so you could see me do the make the Legos even though it filmed it upside down um, this one we've got like a bit different. Uh, there's one that hasn't actually arrived yet, so that's going to be fun. Um, so you'll, we'll play catch up when that eventually arrives. Um, but I can show you what I have got so far. So first of all, this one I got on a whim and it is, yeah, it's a colouring book. I'm not sure how I'm going to approach this depending on how complicated the pictures are. I'll show you the so the front page is basically this book belongs to. The second page is um, colour the doors as you go along. And then obviously going through is each thing in the other. What do you all look at? What I may do, depending on how complicated each picture is, is I might... I can pause, if, it's, if it's a relatively simple image, I'll pause the recording, colour it, and then come back to you. Um, I have nothing too fancy these are just the I think I've got them on sale it's Smith's brush so you've got brush tip on one end um, fine point on the other I actually have used these a little bit they're actually pretty good pens for the money I paid for them um, not fancy just and you know 24 colors be nice and consistent in the thing there is pencils in here as well um, but I think I might stick to pen so yeah that's Advent calendar number one. This is Advent calendar number two. Um, there is actually a, like a, a card that tells you what's in here, but I ain't gonna look at that. Um, but this is the Dove. Uh, lovely things, you know, bath, luxury stuff. Um, but I kind of got a whim. I like. I don't have a bath. I have a stand up shower, but I do like Dove products. And um, it's kind of like a cheat thingy on here that tells you what to do, which you kind of have to do. So this is like um, a 12 day one, so we'll do this every other day. Um, since it's day one, we will do this today. And then depending on the other item arrives, which is a 24 one, um, we will um, see and maybe do a, a couple of the when they arrive and then like, maybe have a catch up on that. But definitely looking at every other day for this one. But the big one, and the one I'm more excited about, is... This one! This the Back to the Future Playmobil. Um, the picture apparently is like everything that's in there, so it's kind of the box itself is a spoiler. Um, in fact, the, the box itself is definitely a spoiler because that image there is like everything you get in the box. And there's also a catalogue because this came in, in the thingy, which I was quite chuffed about. And it's actually. You know, I know you're looking at it from things, but that's just cardboard. That's just like a a thing. And then it, cause these are extra things you can get in there as well. So it's got a catalog for itself. But it, it shows you how to, um, you know, put together like where these can go. Like so, for example, here on the front of these two, there is actually little holes. The having I try not to look too deep into this, but there are bits that will attach into there. Um. So the box I just showed you is just the outer box because obviously the cardboard and, and the props. Because this is, uh, I can show you this. Let's pick this up. This is like the 
the thing, because you see the flamey of the Momati comes across the DeLorean. The DeLorean isn't in here, that's sold separately. Um, I might look into getting that at some point to so complete the complete thing. What I may end up doing is I've got a shelf up there, give it a tidy up and a rearrange because there's some stuff up there that I can probably move put somewhere else. And then have that, once it's done, move that up there because it's not going to be practical because I don't think you can tell, but uh, see that's not quite on the shelf. The shelf is quite a bit shorter. But yay, look at that! Look how cute that is! So yeah, that's uh, and that's what we're doing. Um, like I said, the actual um, goodies aren't in the box I showed you. They're actually in this one. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's a nice designed box. Ooh, that's, I didn't even look at that. That's very cool. And then on the back, obviously, it's advertising. You know, you can get the DeLorean with Doc and the thing and Einstein and then this other double pack of Doc and Marty, so uh, might have to look into maybe getting those at some point in the future. <sighs> so, what to do first? Because they're all quite Oh, also, this came in the box with the the Playmobil box. It's um the picture of Marty and his siblings, uh, David and Linda, and it actually does the uh, uh, is it lentecular? I always forget how you pronounce that, but yeah. There we go, so we won't look at the glare on David anymore. But yeah, how cute is that? <laughs> Little uh, lenticular family photo as a prop, but done with Playmobil style. That's very cute. I was quite impressed with that. <sighs> I think we'll start with me disappearing out of frame for two seconds. One moment. Ah, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doodle-doo, copyright free music, because I'll make it up on my own. Doodle-doo, doodle-doo, dunk! Okay, so this isn't obviously part of it, but I um, bought myself this because well, why wouldn't I? <laughs> so what I'm going to do for now is, is, is mermaid. It's actually the first mermaid thing I've owned. Um, what I'm going to do now, for now is the Dove products I'll store and keep in here together and use as and when. Because I'm actually... As of this moment, I'm actually good for shampoo and, and body wash and stuff, so these will be extras on top of. So, since I brought them up, let's start with the Dove. Obviously, it's one we're going to be using doing every other day. How are we all, by the way? How, how are you doing? Are you adventing? Are you doing your thing? Um, I will say um, to someone I think might be watching this video, hello, darling, how are you? Um, that, yes. I will have my face on display every day because I don't think I show my face. You do not show your face too much, okay? If you want to make the videos, you make the videos. People choose whether not to watch them, but you make what you want to do. But yes, I'm going to do a daily thing because I actually quite like doing a daily thing last time I did it. So I do like the ribbon. It's actually it's built quite well. I'm going to throw that away because I don't want to see the spoilers. Thank you. So... As you can see, very nicely presented. Uh, number one is up here. Oh, that's quite satisfying. And it is uh, deeply nourishing. It's deeply nourishing. Oh, say, deeply nourishing hand cream. Oh, it's a body wash. It says that right at the bottom there. Body wash. I'm guessing this one's going to have quite a neutral smell. Actually, this is um, these sizes might be good for travel. Um, I'd say traveling in your own country. Obviously, I'm in the UK because um, international travel means you've got to have clear bottles and all this stuff. But traveling around the UK, I'd say these are probably going to be good sizes. So we'll pop that in there and we'll have a nice collection by the end of the month. Excuse me. I do apologise for that. I won't edit because that means effort. So, colouring book. Eels. Very simple. Merry Christmas to you. And since it is quite a quick one, I shall pause the video. And then when, when you come back, that will all be coloured in. 
I have a board so I can actually lean on it. Back in a jiffy. Boop. Hello, I'm back. And you probably didn't even notice I've gone. So here we go. Merry Christmas to you. Um, the blue and purple with the bottom, I, the O was a little weird. Um, I don't know if you can see there's like a double line. But yeah, basically I picked a colour and uh, yeah, I went with it. <coughs> uh, the next pictures I may choose what I'm doing, but um, in case you're wondering, no bleed through, which is always nice. So there you go. Um, not Hashtag not spawn, but if you do, you know, if you're looking to, you know, I'm no great artist. I mean, I've done some bit. But, you know, if you're looking to explore brush pens um, before, you know, sort of committing yourself to more expensive ones, then, you know, you can't go, you can, you can go worse. I mean, you know, you've got those bright colours. They're good for kids. So, yeah, these pens are good. First page done. On to the main event. After I just make sure my pens don't fall down. Ah. Uh. So yes, the thing I'm really excited about. And looking at the size of the door, I don't think we're actually getting a figurine just yet. Although what's in door number three? Because that's a big one. Like door number three is big. So usually like 24 is the big one. 24, 23, yeah 24. Because that's going to be the one that's got your big, your big final hero prize in. But this one's three, but number one. Seems to be a smaller item, not a figure. But let us see what we have. Oh no, it is a figure. Okay, yeah, because I'm not accounting for the fact there's actually quite a thick box. So, what is number three? Have we got the thickness of the box and double doors? Tune in to find out. But yes, we do have the first figurine, and it is, of course. Marty from the beginning of the film where he's got his cool shades on legging very very cute uh, yep his head turns thusly he does the leg the um the bend and obviously his arms and hands this is cool. I never actually had playmobil as a kid I had Lego growing up um so <clears throat> I think we had playmobil at yeah, now he's even got his Art and Revolution little badge on. Oh, that's so cute. So you're kind of getting a lot of um, glare off. Them. Is that a bit better? Let's help him with the details. Hello. This is heavy. Yeah, but this is just not focusing on him at all, is it? Come off of me. Go into Little Plastic Man. Oof. No, he's not focusing. Try, try making a black background. Nope, doesn't want to focus at all. Uh, but anyway, you can see, sort of, he's got his little bag on. Uh, yeah, never had Playmobil as a kid. I think we had it in the play school nursery I was in. They might have had some, but I never actually owned any as a kid. So, I mean, yes, I own all of this, but I haven't seen all of this. So this is like my officially my first Lego... Um, <coughs> sorry, see? See? Such, such a Lego kid. I keep getting it wrong. This is my first official Playmobil character. And it is one of my favourite characters. I don't want my favourite movie franchises. As, you know, demonstrated by my jacket. Which may or may not have been a clue. Actually, it wasn't a clue. I just really like the jacket. Um, but also, yeah. So, yeah. Doesn't it, it doesn't go all the way around. That's actually... Because, like, it goes all the way around. In a quite unhealthy way. This is like a normal range of motion. For a man in his... Well, teens, but early twenties. Ah, uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. So we'll right now we'll just pop him, pop him there in front of the courthouse, and um, obviously that scene should then build up as we go through the month. And uh, yeah, so this is my um, adventing calendar open daily thing day one. I'll work on the title. I think I'll just quite call it, you know, Advent 2020. 
it's pithy. It's not the most outstanding, most uh, amazing. Oh yeah, everyone's over here at the moment. Um, Advent 2020 thingy doors openings number one. Uh, yeah, so hopefully the other will arrive sooner rather than later. But if it's... I'm just wondering what, if, if it's worth... Open because there's something else I've kind of got my eye on that I might wait to the, see if the price comes down. There we are. I might wait to see if the price comes down. I might get a, a, another, like so, maybe a fourth, fifth, another item if the if the price is right, um, which will then have something else to open. So yes, no ETA on the final calendar yet. I hope it arrives before if it arrives like on Christmas Eve or something, then I'll just just open them all up. I'll just open all the doors. Go, look, I've got these, these these are the things I've got. And, ooh, look at them. Um, but hopefully not so if they depending on how long it takes, I'll if it like arrives tomorrow, I'll just do two and then we'll carry on. If it arrives like next week, then I might just do two, two, two for a couple of days. Or I might just catch myself up. Depends how I go. Depends how I feel on the day when they actually arrive. But anyway, I'm definitely going to waffle mode soon. Um, let me know what you think. Um, depending, like I said, depending on how complicated, because some some of the pictures seem to be more detailed than others in the book. Um, depending on, I oh got a quick flick. I didn't look at all of them properly. Um, depending on how detailed they each are, I might just. If it's a quick one like that was, I'll pause it and um, come back to you. If it's a more complicated picture, I might just have to show you the next day and then say, hey, I did it. <laughs> so yeah, that's day one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for getting this far if you're, if you're still here because you, you're, you are part of the awesome crew and I appreciate you. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave like, shares, comments, subscriptions, all that fun stuff. You know, Share it with people. Say, hey, look at this mad woman. She's opening advent calendars. You know, she's like in her 40s and, and doing this this strange thing. Check it out. Alrighty, so definitely in Waffle Road, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching if you have been. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you next time. Tomorrow, in fact. Bye!